Hi, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to create one more uh, short video about the store step. It's about expires in uh, one of the properties called expires in which governs the retention policy of a document. So generally for all the documents, uh, for all the integration types, uh, uh, like the retention policy of a document is just 180 days is the maximum. But within the Workday Studio, we have a we have a we can increase that uh, significantly. I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. So this is the I have created a small sample uh, studio and I have tested this. So this is the store step and there is a property called expires in and we have to give a, a cryptic code here which governs uh, a number of days it number of days or number of months or years uh, after which the document expires so so if we give py1 in the expires in property the document expires after one year so we ran the integration on 6th of july then it 6th of july 2022 uh, because we have given one year it expires after uh, exactly one year which is 6th of july 2023 right so that is that is how it is and uh, i have given all the other examples like let's just say we give p one d that is one day d stands for day and number here represents number of days so two days like uh, like 125 days or 400 days or whatever and then uh, m stands for month so we can give one two three whatever the number we want to right six stands for six months and of course, I have already ex explained P1Y is one year and if you give, increase the number, it's two years and all. And what happens if we leave the property blank? Of course, it's uh, not a mandatory field. You can leave it blank. If you leave it blank, the default is one week. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, happy coding. We'll meet with one more interesting topic. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.